in 2013 at the Aperio conference, I saw uh, like various other learning analytics projects. Aaron was presenting, Aaron and Alan Borg, they were presenting about uh, XAPI, and uh, we were presenting about uh, the early alert system we had developed, SSP was there, it's student success plan, you know, you know, more towards interventions and everything. Uh, we started seeing the connections. Much of it was kind of uh, driven by uh, the white paper I had a chance to read just before the conference uh, that George Siemens was also presenting uh, in the keynote address uh, today. Uh, Solar folks had come up with that where they had come up with a concept which was connecting all these pieces of puzzle together. So I was like, oh, we should definitely do that in Aperio. There seems to be a logical connection, like they're collecting data, we are doing the analysis, and uh, someone is in the what next field. So let's just connect this, and uh, I just came up with a rough, very rough, high-level ecosystem diagram for the BAF, and uh, that's kind of, you know, uh, piqued a little bit of interest as, oh, this is actually uh, possible, and, uh, you know, it kind of fits together. The, the initial project funding was simply hook this thing into Sakai so we can get data back out of it. And later grew into, wait, now that we have that data, what can we do with it? Or wait, we actually want to get data out of uPortal. That's, that'll work. We want to get data out of OEE. That'll work. And started expanding into just different ways of getting data. And now has moved into where the Learning Analytics Initiative is actually working, not just with a couple little groups doing things here and there. and by the way, hey, we did this and broadcasting it out, but actually talking together about a unified plan, and that's where that learning analytics diamond diagram that we've discussed in the past and shown in some of our slides came from, was this idea that we all need to have a kind of a unified vision of where we're heading and start working toward that vision to, to essentially build out that diamond and close that loop. Uh, the first and foremost thing was to keep everything open source the technology choices, everything had to be open source. We had wanted to release the flows, uh, all the knowledge flows and data mining uh, aspects, the models, uh, the reporting frameworks, everything out there, put it out, uh, mostly to see if uh, um, it can be cross-validated across platforms uh, and uh, if it can be deployed at scale. So uh, that was the major motivation for the openness. Uh, and uh, um, in, in, my, in my prior experience, I had majorly worked with uh, commercial affiliates and whatnot, and open source was kind of new to me. And uh, Aperio was uh, the first time I kind of, uh, you know, uh, worked closely with uh, open source communities. We got a lot more interest uh, than we expected. <laughs> that was uh, one thing, uh, especially uh, there were some retention systems already in place but uh, they did not explore, uh, expose like uh, how the algorithms work, how to interpret it, what happens within the black box, right? So people were more intrigued about knowing like what, what's gonna happen within, right? Uh, how it, this process actually works and uh, how do we get involved in uh, that particular process? Um, how do we enrich the data sets and uh, whatnot? So that, that uh, got a little bit traction in terms of, you know, uh, uh, for folks to release their data for our analysis in, in terms of pilots and uh, whatnot. There were uh, other uh, colleges uh, who learned about the work we did and uh, the openness about the project in itself. Uh, all the publications were made available, all the analysis was made available uh, so they can test it out. Uh, in case there are any gaps, they could always come back and we can always improve the model. Uh, that was also one of the uh, major focuses, you know, uh, feedback loop is always uh, good to have. Mm -hmm.